quartz. Okay, cool. Yay, print statement debugging. Uh, just, just to make sure everything thing. is actually happening like I think that it's happening. Okay, and we want to do it for everything. So we do that. Okay, so let's go. And uh, let's, let's see how Spain's numbers are looking today. So I submit. Hey, it's the right answer. One gold star. Mm -hmm. Continue to part two. Okay, let's reorganize this slightly. Um, okay, we can see, Spain, that you've had 5.1 million cases. Let's see, what is this? 88,052 deaths. I mean, look at the deaths by year. You can see that your your deaths for 2020 want to pass. You can see Spain that your deaths right. for 20 your cases. Right, but you can see that Spain's cases for 2020 and... have passed the 2020 numbers. But here's the good news. Here's the good news of Spain. There's a very Our good chance, solution. Spain, that your uh, the 2020 COVID-19 deaths will not catch 2020 numbers. Okay. Correct. Now let's take a look at at the and at the daily numbers two. here. And you can see here on, on, on January 25th, Spain, your, your, your cases spiked at 93,822. Then like many countries, you had a long declining pattern during the spring and summer. Then in July, they, they began to increase again, all the way up to on September to, or, or July the 19th, the 61,628 cases were a single day. But then on November 30th, that number fell back down to 10,261 with a daily average of 11,931 okay. deaths per day for, uh, for, for Spain. Considering every single measurement isn't as useful as you expected, there's just too much noise in the data. You can see over here on, Instead, uh, for, for your daily deaths, Spain, that, uh, sums uh, of that on November 8th, your, your daily deaths spiked window. to 909 Again, deaths considering for the a long declining pattern down in through here. Example. Oh boy. And then, and then, and then spiking again on uh, August the 23rd at 201 deaths bit. before falling all the way back down Let's put this on November 30th block. to 44 deaths with a 14 day average of the 34.57 uh, 34.57 deaths okay take a look at some monthly at some weekly numbers here these, these, these just confirm what the daily numbers tell us encoder, you had the same idea you did the, the the speed same bump same here did a pretty solution, healthy jump back up here in july as i did for before the numbers began to fall all back down for several weeks but now this looks as if the well last week well this is this week so but right. then you've had three or four weeks of ruin, and, and, and when cases, have, when cases in Spain have three increased. measurement sliding window. All right. So yes. Well, the good news is your deaths, if you say, is very low. This, this, this would this be one thousand for, for each week. Second, three look, look at how many window. weeks you're below a thousand, and again over here you're below a thousand again, a thousand okay, deaths so per week. All right. What about monthly like deaths? Well, I can a, see here. This period here during the spring and summer wasn't so too bad. Summing. Wasn't too bad. Okay. The second and over here you can see at one point e. you had a three month uh, row and decline in COVID-19 um, cases okay. but now back in, no, in, December, in November the sum of measurements those number, in those, the, the deaths, second window cases is larger increased than the again. sum in the first so what this about first deaths? comparison increased now look at this one okay so two, same three, kind of four, thing as the first one five just months doing in a row you had a decline in COVID-19 deaths your goal deaths now is to count the number you of had times a one, the sum of measurements one, in the sliding window you increases had a one month from increase the previous sum so compare A with B then compare B with C so that's the best news that we have hoped in Spain today and there aren't enough measurements left to create a new Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll catch you tomorrow so. at a new and updated report. So.